everyone, today we will be making these tasty, sweet, giant, fluffy cinnamon rolls. Now let's get started with the video. In a saucepan or microwave, heat one cup of milk to about 115 degrees. Once you've heated up your milk, pour it into a bowl. Then sprinkle two and a half teaspoons of instant dry active yeast over the milk. Let the yeast sit for about five minutes or until it has become foamy. Then add two eggs, one third cup of melted salted butter, one teaspoon of salt, and a half a cup of sugar. Mix all your ingredients together until well combined. Then pour your mixture into a stand mixer bowl. After that, add four cups of flour. Attach the dough hook and then begin to beat your dough on medium speed. Add a half a cup of flour if needed. Knead your dough for about five to seven minutes or until your dough is elastic and smooth. Grease a bowl with melted butter and then add your dough. Cover your dough in plastic wrap and then let it rise in a warm area for 30 minutes or until it has doubled in size. While our dough is rising, we're going to make our filling. In a bowl, mix together a half a cup of salted softened butter, one cup of packed light brown sugar, two tablespoons of cinnamon, and one fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. When you finish mixing everything together, set your filling to the side. Once your dough has finished rising, remove the plastic wrap. Next, sprinkle flour onto a clean surface. Then, take your dough out of the bowl. Sprinkle some flour onto your dough and rolling pin. Then roll out your dough into about a 24 by 15 inch rectangle. It doesn't have to be that exact size, so just try to roll it out as much as you can. Once you have finished rolling out your dough, use a rubber spatula to spread your filling over the entire dough rectangle. Next, tightly roll your dough on the horizontal side of the rectangle. Once you have finished rolling, you can begin cutting your dough. Cut your dough into one and a half inch long pieces. This is a trick I always like to use when cutting my cinnamon rolls. I'll take dental floss and then slip it under the dough. Then once I'm at the area where I want to cut, I simply just twist. I twist the dental floss and it cuts straight through the dough. It's really easy. It creates a perfect cut and unlike using a knife, it doesn't squish the cinnamon roll. I learned the trick from a tasty video I watched a while ago. Next, grease a 9x13 baking pan.
Then place your cinnamon rolls in the baking pan. Cover the pan in plastic wrap or a towel and place it in a warm area to rise for 20 minutes or until they have doubled in size. Then bake your cinnamon rolls at 375 degrees for 20 to 22 minutes or until your rolls are lightly golden brown. While the cinnamon rolls are baking in the oven, we are going to make our vanilla bean cream cheese frosting. In a bowl, add 6 ounces of softened cream cheese and 1 3rd cup of salted softened butter. Beat the butter and cream cheese together until well combined. Then add the seeds from half a vanilla bean and two cups of powdered sugar. Make sure to gradually add in the powdered sugar as you mix everything in. Proceed to beat everything together until well combined. When you finish making your frosting, set it to the side. Once your cinnamon rolls have finished baking, you can go ahead and add your frosting. And this is the finished result! These were the best cinnamon rolls I have ever made! They were sweet, buttery, and fluffy, and the bottom had a nice buttery crust. It was, it was delicious. My whole goal was to make giant fluffy cinnamon rolls, because I've always wanted to make giant fluffy cinnamon rolls, and I totally succeeded. I was so proud! The frosting tasted amazing. Overall, the whole thing was super good. I'll link the recipes I used for this video in the description below. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!